Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. In this crappy episode, I'm going to compare mid-season results between hot pepper plants nourished with fish manure-derived fertilizer and turkey manure-derived fertilizer. Let's get started. As many of you know, this is my third season using fish manure, fish manure humus compost to feed my hot pepper plants. There is definitely something fishy going on here. According to the founder of Fishner, this humus compost contains all the necessary organic matter and micro life needed for a healthy and natural plant growth. In my experience, this is absolutely true. Fishner is easy to use, grows healthy plants, and has no unpleasant odor. There's much more I could say and have said previously about Fishner. If you want to learn more, I'll drop some links into the description. As more and more gardeners discover Fishner, it's being distributed more widely. Production has been moved from Arkansas to a new larger facility in Arizona. Originally made from catfish manure, it's been switched over to trout manure. The process and materials are still the same, but a better screening process breaks up the product more uniformly and eliminates clumps. I've been very happy with the results from Fishner, but I also enjoy experimentation. Back in the spring, I was contacted by Mike Swan, Director of Marketing for Sustain Natural Fertilizer. Mike introduced me to his company's fertilizers, which are produced right here in Minnesota using aerobically composted turkey litter. Poultry litter is a mixture of excreta, spilled feed, feathers, and bedding material. As you may know, Minnesota raises more turkeys than any other state in the USA. Obviously, we also produce the most turkey litter. Turning some of that into organic fertilizer makes a lot of sense. Sustain's headquarters are only 40 miles away from here. If it makes sense to eat local, why not fertilize local? So I agreed to meet Mike and let him drop off a few of their products for me to try. But I am still using tried and true Fishner to feed most of my plants this season. For this challenge, I decided to grow two varieties of peppers in five gallon fabric grow bags. Here are the plants, three each of Carolina Reaper and Trinidad Scorpion Long SR. There are six plants because I'm also going to try a test batch of a new Fishner product that will be launching soon, Fishner Organic Potting Soil Mix. This is a ready to use potting mix with Fishner already added. It's packaged in small six quart bags. So it took all six bags they sent me to fill two five gallon pots. Then I added the seedlings. I want these plants to rely on only the products I'm testing, so none of these pots are getting the blood meal and Epsom salt I normally use when potting seedlings. The other plants are getting ProMix Premium All-Purpose Mix. This version of ProMix does not have any added fertilizer, so the plants will be relying on only the nutrients I'm testing. Next, I potted the Fishner plants. I filled the pots about half full with potting mix, then added about a pound of Fishner to each pot, mixing it in thoroughly. After adding the seedlings, I finished off with some diluted Fishner liquid used as a transplant fertilizer. Then it was time to pot the sustain plants. As a side note, I wonder if there is consumer resistance to using a fertilizer made from turkey litter. The only mention of turkey I could find on the package was at the bottom of the guaranteed analysis box on the back of the bag. Sustained fertilizer is definitely not odorless. The odor is not offensive and doesn't bother me, but it is a distinctive barnyard aroma that's very different from the fresh soil odor of Fishner. Its consistency is not unlike conventional fertilizer. I added about 12 ounces of sustained 464 fertilizer to each pot. I also added a tablespoon of this Sustain inoculate product, Bolster Microbio. Used in combination with Sustain fertilizer, it claims to supply microorganisms that allow plants to better utilize available nutrients. Here's where I placed the six plants right after potting. They're sitting in a prime spot on the front walk. And here they are more recently. I had to find a higher vantage point to see them over all the other pots crowding the front yard. Let's take a closer look. 
These are the three reapers about six weeks post-transplant. Like the whole rest of the garden this year, these plants are growing slowly. We're experiencing drought conditions with only a few sprinklings of rain all summer so far. The Fischner and sustained plants are very similar in size, while the Fischner potting soil plant is yellowish and much smaller. I'm guessing the potting mix doesn't contain nearly as much Fischner as I added to the plant on the left. Now, here are the scorpions. Again, the Fischner and sustained plants look similar in size. The Fischner potting soil plant is less developed, but it looks healthier than the reaper potted in the same mix. Time for some feeding, starting with the sustained plants. I'm going to add four tablespoons, or about a quarter cup, of 824 sustained fertilizer and work it into the soil. At this point, I want to promote more plant growth. I'll switch back to the 464 later to promote flower and pod production. Then I'll water using the compost tea I brewed by dropping one of these sustained compost tea bags into a gallon of water and letting it brew overnight. I'm not adding any additional fertilizer to the Fischner plants. Experience has shown me that if you add the right amount of Fischner when you transplant, it will keep the plant nourished all season. I will supply the plants with some Fischner liquid diluted 4 to 1 with water, both with a watering can and as a foliar spray. This is to improve nutrient uptake. I also provide this foliar feeding on a larger scale for the entire garden. Here I'm using a hose end sprayer, but I've also used a pump action sprayer as well. The hose end sprayer is quicker and easier, but the pump sprayer allows for a more precise application. Now, I'll tend to the plants growing in the test batch of Fischner potting soil. It's obvious they need help, so I'm going to add a handful of Fischner to each plant along with the Fischner liquid. I don't really consider these plants to be part of the competition at this point, but I'd like to give them a boost if possible. Ten days later, and here's how the plants look. Not much difference in growth between the Sustain and Fischner plants at this point. We'll check back when they start setting pods. The Fischner potting soil plants are looking a little better, but they are still a long way from catching up to the others. I think this all-in-one product is a great idea, but Fischner needs to work on perfecting the ratio of ingredients. I'll continue to update the progress of these plants throughout the growing season. If you enjoy our content and would like to see more, you can help us grow by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and tapping the bell to be notified as we post new episodes. Check out all our 7 Pot Club logo and hot pepper related apparel and other merch at 7pot.club slash merch. If you'd like a free 7 Pot Club membership card and stickers, get the details at 7pot.club slash card. And for even more 7 Pot Club, follow our daily exploits on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. For 7 Pot Club, I'm Rob.